So you've suddenly gone from front end of the largest air offensive in the history of mankind, and then suddenly you're sitting in the sand. And then they say, are you pilot or navigator? And my response, I started to go, I cannot. Suddenly, you've got a baseball bat around your head, uh, and you're on the floor, and that's shocking. I've never been hit with a baseball bat. What happens when change is forced upon you? And you're probably saying, you know, why me? Why is it me talking to you today? You know, because this experience was 23 years ago. We all have change forced upon us. That's the nature of the world. And how do you deal with your fear and your sense of inadequacy? Because that's what I have to deal with. To stay motivated, I think it's making sure you're doing something you believe in, actually. Out of all, all the things, I give you all the fancy words, and anybody give fancy words, but actually, you've really got to believe that the result that you're aiming for is meaningful. It's being bold enough to make this that first decision, and that is the key to, I think, great leadership, is actually making a decision when you don't know the answer, but going for it anyway. Leadership is not some grand thing, it's someone who takes us beyond where we believe we can go ourselves. I'm going to explore with you my reality of what it is like to go to war, whatever your perception is as to who I am. Where do you get that power? Where do you get that self-belief from? Well, you get that self-belief from your past. All the things that make you who you are today, all the things that have, have, have given you strength. If you don't know where you are in your life at this moment in time, and you can't actually lead anybody to where the future is. Basically, if I took basic business strategy, basic business stuff is where have we been, who are we, what do we do, and where do we want to go? And if you haven't done that yourself, you can't lead anybody anywhere. John, I neglected to ask you when we were talking with the families of the prisoners of war, but what kept you going during your imprisonment? The belief comes from all the really ordinary things that we all do because we're worth being here. And that gives you power. You have to accept the brutal reality. Two minutes ago as a prisoner of war is a waste of time. We all spend our lives finding a success formula and then repeating it endlessly. But what happens when the world changes? My world changed. So I think leaders emerge as a certain time and a place where they have something that makes them lead. And I think that is uh, a quality within us all, whether we believe it or not. Whatever your challenge, talk to me in 14 years' time and tell you how you overcame. Stand on the stage and tell people how you overcame, how you created a new business for yourself. And that's what you're here for. Believe it, because then it will make it happen. <laughs>